Five plus five plus five plus five would equal. Would that work? BL stands for project-based learning, which is a way that we approach social studies and science, but really, you know, all the content throughout our day. It's very student-driven. In addition to learning content, students are learning a lot of real-life skills. They're learning how to present information, how to research, how to be confident that they are able to make change. I'd like the kids to be, or at least my daughters, to be exposed to different ways of learning. One that is more interactive, and I found it with you know, the PPL units, um, it encompasses everything. My priority is that they're strong presenters, that they're strong speakers, that they believe in themselves. And I think PBL really gives kids those qualities at a very young age that they'll use professionally and in college, um, you know, throughout their life. In the workplace. And, oh, certainly in the workplace. I mean, think about the jobs we want these kids to have in you know, 10, 20 years. They're going to have to do all, they're going to have to be confident presenters and researchers, and they're going to have to be able to solve their own problems. Um, that's, you know, the skills they're learning at six, seven, eight years old. It's phenomenal. I, I think you know. It's it's even with with my daughter. She's you know she's she's typing. So what are you looking? I'm doing research, mom. And oh, research. You know. And she's citing. She's like, yeah. She knows how to cite references. I think the thing with PBL is that it's just a very different sort of classroom setup, that it's not me standing in front telling them what they need to know, it's me setting up opportunities for them to find answers themselves. Building pretty much the blueprint of the mission, yeah. but we're um, customizing it by our, um, our own. We're kind of using math because we need to use we, We're using math to pretty much find the the areas and perimeters of everything to actually make the mission. It's, it's just the whole interaction piece. You know, kids are not just sitting down. They're really doing a hands-on experience. And I think that is key. There's some kids that have um, different ways of learning. There's some kids that can stay focused, sitting down, reading a book. There's other kids that, you know, just their energy level is different. They want to be able to interact. They're more uh, hands-on, right? They like to do activities. And I think the PPL unit um, helps out in that, that it's, it teaches for different kids that learn at different pace um, and have different ways of learning. Think of it as, oh, I'm learning social studies, or oh, I'm learning science. They are doing PBL, and they're coming up with their own projects and their own answers, and they're being creative, and they're getting their hands dirty, and they're working with each other. And they, they love it. PBL is what they are excited about all day. And so they don't see it as doing school. They see it as you know, getting to be creative and work in all sorts of authentic environments. It doesn't matter what they choose to do, um, these skill sets will grow with them, um, you know, and only further develop what they already know. And this, I think, if anything, sets a foundation, if you will, uh, for them to continue to build.